This is how Jenny Fawcett visits her parents. They have COVID-19 and live at Orchard Villa, where 32 residents have died. The system, it's not working. And these are the most vulnerable of people. We would never allow this to happen to NICU babies in a hospital, but we allow it to happen here. Today, Ontario's premier called in the military. Their support will provide staffing relief so staff can focus on the care of the residents. At least 447 long-term care residents across Ontario have died and more than 100 homes are facing outbreaks. But the province refused to say which facilities would be getting military support. Military assistance will go to the homes that are in greatest need. And so uh, I will leave it there. Need is rampant, so is understaffing. Nearly 1,000 care workers have the virus and staffing levels could get worse at some homes with most workers now limited to one facility. They're saying that a home is not implementing adequate uh, protection and infection control measures. They will not choose to go there. Ontario also revealed today it intends to start testing all long-term care residents and staff, a move it previously resisted despite pleas from advocates. If we had a number of things way back earlier, we could have been much more liberal with our testing, but that was the reality. The crisis and the handling of it led Dwayne Simon to take his mother out of Orchard Villa. That's good. He's now caring for her alone at home, taking extra precautions since she has COVID-19. I don't know how many years she has left, but, you know, I will cherish every minute of this isolation with my mother. It's something few may be able to do, but Simon felt it was his only choice. Ellen Morrow, CBC News, Toronto.